My name is Adam Compton, and I am the uh, director of the bands here at NEO and m College. When I started studying and learning about uh, the history of our program, it, we had a pretty proud history, and we had a, a band program that was pretty solid for a long time. Uh, but that wasn't really the case when I got here. Our numbers were in the teens, the facilities were pretty shabby, uh, the equipment was pretty run down. Uh, we used polo shirts and windsuits when I got here. I remember the kids were excited when we got matching polo shirts, so it was, we really kind of started from the ground and kind of been working our way up slowly but surely. It was uh, kind of a no-brainer to come to NEO because I'm like, it's close to home. My mother came here for nursing school, my brother came here, he was in the band, and hey, why not? I should do it. <laughs> really learned a lot because I didn't get as many opportunities to have all of these experiences in high school. Here at NEO, like, you have all of these clubs that you can join, all of these different opportunities that you can take just to kind of open your horizons and figure out what you want to do before you go to a bigger university. You have that opportunity. I wasn't originally going to join the band, but my friend said she was going to try out, and I said, I might as well go. So I showed up, had never talked to Mr. Compton before, didn't even know really who he was. I was like, hey, can I try out? He said, sure, and I did, and sure enough, uh, he let me in and gave me a scholarship for it. When I graduated from high school, my band teacher was actually in contact with Mr. Compton. And uh, so I sent in a video, and to my surprise, he replied. And I was like, whoa, I got a scholarship. I was really nervous about it, and I got it. And I was so excited. Started getting all my things, and just started packing up three months before I'm supposed to come. The 2007-2008 school year was our first year of having what we would call real marching band uniforms. When we finally got the uniforms in that, uh, during that school year, it was an instant change in the persona of the band, instant. The uniforms are about 10 years old now. They are showing their age, um, where holes, rips, tears, uh, things are falling apart and things like that. And that's just normal, natural wear and tear. And another problem we have is uh, we're running out of uniforms. Um, the band has grown. When we, when we bought these uniforms, the band was in the 40s. You know, now we're at 75. Sizing, it gets, becomes very, very difficult. When you had, in the past, maybe two kids that were the same size, then you had the two uniforms for it. But now you have six kids that are that same size, and you only have the two uniforms that fit. It's time for us to make that next step and get enough uniforms to cover the, the number of performers that we have. Because we have this legacy that we need to keep going, and to kind of bring it to the next level, you need those new uniforms to kind of encourage more people to come here, but to also be like, we will take care of you. We want you to be here. 